Beijing, a city of more than 20 million people, almost at a standstill. Schools, gyms, hairdressers, all closed. And people are being told or forced to work from home while widespread COVID-19 testing is underway. We must work hard to race against the virus, adhere to the 24-hour treatment rule, carry out the epidemiological investigations, controls and detection in fast manner, and speed up the whole process. But with the toughening restrictions in Beijing and the weeks of lockdown misery in the biggest city, Shanghai, the World Health Organization's issued rare criticism of China's zero-COVID strategy. We have uh, discussed about this issue with um, uh, Chinese uh, experts uh, and we uh, indicated that the approach, um, uh, you know, uh, will not be sustainable and considering uh, the uh, behaviour of the virus, uh, I think a shift will be very important. Experts suggest China could struggle to find a way out because of low vaccination rates in those aged over 60. Over the long term, um, millions, countless millions of people in China are going to get COVID and they need a strategy to prevent people from being hospitalized and dying. And that really means uh, effective uh, vaccines and high penetration, particularly among the elderly and the vulnerable. And that's not happening in China. China's policies have caused anger and anguish for separating children from parents and putting those without symptoms in with others who are unwell. There have been rare protests too, with residents in Shanghai banging pots in frustration over weeks spent indoors. Here, crowds faced off with police in protective clothing because their homes were being turned into temporary quarantine centres. But all of those actions, as we've said since the beginning, should be uh, show due respect to individual and human rights. And we always have said as WHO that we need to balance the control measures against the impact they have on society, the impact they have on the economy. And that's not an, always an easy calibration to make. While other countries who've shared a zero COVID approach are beginning to transition to living with the virus, China is yet to move on. It says its policies will stand the test of history vowing to win the battle against the pandemic. Alexia O'Brien, Al Jazeera.